Well, uh, I raised EMS pay to thirteen hundred before tax. So holy shit! Okay, it, it is a very lucrative thing. Uh, medical is uh, right. EMAG an unrewarding a field sometimes. Uh, so I think uh, as much as I love it, uh, some people just get a little burned out. So first, I'm I'm finna hit the boys with the classic pd liaison nakoda do you have anything to present i have a couple things that i would like to bring up probably something i don't know at what level this could be addressed i did talk to the deputy mayor before the before this about mm -hmm. this apparently people are uh stealing a lot of helicopters now from the airport uh oh we oh, have no. no means to go after them for obvious reasons and uh, the only way we can get on ATC is if we drive down to the airport and uh, link into theirs and tell them to land, which, knowing that we can't follow, they don't. Yo, quick quick suggest a Reno. Why don't you guys go steal a helicopter and then chase them? Or why don't you just shoot them after you warn them to land? Uh, yeah, that seems fair. Have, can't you do we, that if you can't pursue? We have shot at it. Secondary issue... Our, our guns are not as effective as you would imagine. So okay. uh, we are struggling to uh, oh. take down a helicopter, even if we were hitting tail rotors. Um, you got shooters like with Glock's It's also... The what, it, what it is, is probably, it's probably a range issue. A range of oh, firearms, yeah. then doesn't that mean there's somebody else's problem? What? Well, well my, the secondary thing I was going to raise to that is uh, we've also had a lot of instances where I put 12 rounds into somebody, and then they hit me over the head with a wrench and knock me out. Hey, oh my head, god! <laughs> yeah, I I've hit people in the head before. <laughs> if I can blast that bitch, I do try to be blasting, and I still Word. get a wrench in the forehead. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't sound like council stuff. Uh, no, I, I I will say totally just commandeer a helicopter and park it at PD and wait for someone to do this shit. Commandeer one brand PD. Yeah, All right. fuck it. Yeah, you, we, yeah, look, just make sure it doesn't get blown up, so you don't have to pay the owner. You know. <laughs> <laughs> uh secondary and this thing. is not for your use other than combating helicopters yeah, 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 yeah understood yeah. understood <laughs> secondary thing is another thing that i spoke to debbie mayor about the maze bank on bay city is starting to get robbed <gasps> shock Oh, no. People are using dinghies to get away in the canals because the access uh, appears to be somewhere in the sewers. Our boats are having a little trouble catching up, but I know I spoke to him about that. But I'm more just bringing it to your attention that that's starting to happen is the yeah. uh, the bank up there is being robbed. You know, I'm a, I'm a big fan of uh, shoot their boat. I like yes, I was thinking. I like, yeah, I like shoot. it's another you can't follow them. Yeah, hey, yeah. you got guns. Uh, I, look, I, 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 look, I'm not copping. I'm going to tell you how to do your job. But if you can't chase them, shoot them. Yeah, Nakota, I think uh, maybe things like this you should bring to your high command and then they can bring them to the state directly. I don't really know okay. if the council's in a position to handle, you know, the technical specifications of your boats and guns and stuff. Understood. I just yeah. want to bring it up because the mayor was here, but noted going forward. Yeah. I support a bit of an escalation right now. But other than that, I've gotten everything else sorted in the other avenues that be. So I'm good. All right. Well, as for uh, my stuff, the uh, the only thing kind of on, on the radar is uh, there, there's been some lawyers who have been uh, grumbling about pay again, kind of been uh, placating a, a, a little bit, just saying like, hey, the, the, the pay is the pay for now. You know, not, maybe that'll change next administration. I'm not but... opposed to upping their pay. I could <laughs> I, I, I could do that shit right now, dog. I'm going to be honest because I know that uh, and my wife and I have, have observed that the they uh, they're having trouble right now oh, yeah the lawyers um, are again i appreciate it a lot for that pay raise but unfortunately i mean the people who are there uh, it means a hell of a lot to them which is the same mm -hmm. thing i always mm -hmm. thought but it certainly mm -hmm. hasn't caused people to work more no. you know, fuck, yeah. it. I'll, I'll, fuck it i'll raise their pay to one thousand an hour fuck it i think okay. they deserve it That's lance so there's bad, lance yeah. there's also an issue right now that i was told by the lawyers is that oliver is undercutting everybody on contract saying that he will at fifty dollars yeah, what's up with that? Oh, I heard that from Leitzen. Yeah, people are <laughs> yeah. Really hard. Yeah, so Oliver is charging 50 bucks, so now everybody else who is charging more is just getting nothing. In a vacuum, like, sure, I, I'd like to set a mandatory minimum for contracts in, in this case, but uh, in oh. practicality sense, like, how, how do you enforce that or, or make sure that that thing's up to date? And I, I just don't think you can. What sure, I've heard is that people are saying that right they'll now. wait to 
to to spend this, which I suppose is their prerogative. Um, yeah, that's also their their prerogative, right? I, I, you say you don't know how to solve it, but I feel like the solution's right there, right? And I know you guys are just, you're saying that it doesn't work. Why doesn't the mandatory minimum work? <laughs> because people just won't follow it. Well, why don't we make it illegal for people to not follow it? <clears throat> oh. Have to investigate and charge for it and, and all that other stuff. Oh, that would no. screw over lawyers, I suppose, and we already don't have many, so I'll, I'll give the benefit the, of the doubt in there. The number of lawyers is is not an issue. It, so yeah, you know, I'm thinking like you could like cops could set up sting operations on these fucking lawyers to see if they're crooked. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a lot of potential there. Like, like you know, people fucking like does confidentially confidentiality apply to similar to the can you can snitch on your lawyer yes yeah, that's that, what i'm asking that's yeah, what that, I'm asking. Yeah. yeah you know people could just like i feel like there's a lot of potential here potentially uh, we, we can't just give up if it, if the prospect of more work is like wagging in our face I, it, like uh, it's just it's a matter of effort i i yeah. will I, I will concede that i don't think it is a big enough issue right now okay I'm, I'm never going to vote in favor of regulating minimums that people Lipson have to pay. Well. I'm never yeah, regulating yeah. free market. That's like weird. Never. I'll, I'll kick around feelers. I'll, I'll, I'll see what people are, are are thinking in general. I just... Uh, I'm yeah, just going to say, when I, they I, sign I off know. on a contract, they're essentially notarizing the contract, right? Having a standardized minimum notarization fee is not too crazy. Next Yo, week. Malton. Yeah, what's up? How do you feel about Archie Archer willing to completely abandon his role uh, to run for mayor? Damn. Uh, well, he, he, Archie Archer never wanted to be on the Spilling Oversight Board. Did he not? Yeah. No, he wanted power, really. oh. bro. That's he it. He just wanted power. power. He just wants power. Oh, He's okay. Gollum. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Yeah, I mean, yeah. he, he admitted to me yeah, that this was, right. he, he saw it as a, a political stepping stone. Uh, uh, suggestion. I mean, it's your it's your baby. So yeah. replace him with the fourth place. I, I was vote. just about to he say that. Yeah. Uh, He's already yeah. looking uh, past it. Then why don't we give it to somebody who actually wanted to be on it? Yep. I agree. 100%. Honestly, fair. Well, well, that's our suggestion. Obviously, you know. Oh, I'll, I'll wait till he actually declares candidacy for, for the mayor. He, he told me today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he's he already com Toronto he's already campaigning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you have anything, Molten? It's crazy how all, like we were all on the same page with that. Like Cantor, you got anything? <laughs> Nothing to propose today. Still working on studies for the scheduling of weed, but I think uh, from my discussions with people, I think a lot of that will be based around the things that PD's aware of. Alan, do you have anything to present? Yeah. And a tow truck was on the sidewalk going like 100 miles an hour. Almost ran me over. Had like a bright green cab with purple headlights. Uh, and I was thinking to myself, I thought $1,000 and four points on your license was like a lot of threat. But if they don't care and they're just driving 100 miles an hour on the sidewalk and swerving oncoming lanes, and do they not care? Is that not enough fear like do we need more fear like what do i do because maybe we need to like can you do your quoted thing with pd but just for that i don't know it seems like <laughs> Ooh, for like the the commercial they need to vehicles. control commercial vehicles if the that. laws are harsh already are the laws not being enforced are people not focusing on that i guess that, you know maybe yeah. nakoda has yeah, some Dakota, ideas has some there insight. I mean, we write a lot of speeding tickets. Commercial vehicles would have to look into whether or not the vehicles being pulled over are commercial. I will say, no, no, no. I was going to say people might be more inclined to go, you know, are trying to get the car that's going 130 as opposed to the grime van that's going 90 in the city. They don't even have to be going 90, though. If they're just, like, on a sidewalk or cutting corners on their turns, that would be enough in theory. Yeah. I mean, given the fact that they're driving these giant trucks, you know, that are far more dangerous than the average vehicle, and I just feel like they should be right, so held to... It's, the charge is not being used enough, clearly, because since March 12th, there have been seven instances of this. That's it? Yeah. So clearly, Nagoda... I don't know because four points to me seems very harsh because if you get four points uh, just for the enhancement charge and the primary charge is, let's just say it's first degree speeding. The officer chooses not to give like the reckless driving felony. Let's say right. it's first degree speeding. That's seven points. So yep. you get caught doing that three times. You lose what? your license. So, so is this the final? Uh... What? No. Is, is no, this... this isn't the final draft. Okay. Okay. Uh, so for these commercial citations, let's get a, a fat 3.0 quota points on them. Oh, oh, oh I will uh, be at, out there today. And this right, approved guards. Okay, go ahead. Gary Kibben, you need a state ID. 
You already put that one last time. Could keep going. Scotty Bard? Uh, villager? Vil Adger. Well, we call him Pillager and Dogton. All right, next. Nice. And we have uh, Chestanisberg. I don't, I don't know how to pronounce it. Chestanisberg, Andersonis Bergensen. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anybody else? We have uh, Richard uh, YQ, I think. Weird ass spelt last name. It's or, Polish. Yes, please take him. Okay, anybody else? Uh, Pigeon, he doesn't have any felonies. A Cap Terra Nova. Ooh. He's also a doctor, that motherfucker. He hasn't worked once. Oh, piece of shit. Well, that's not a good sign. Anybody else? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Lily Dubois? I think that's your last name. She, she fucking, she creepy. Okay, anybody else? An, an old man named Rusty Bumblebear. Out of all those names, I think uh, Carmela's the only one with a felony. Uh, Bobby, I'm obligated at this time to suggest, even though he does not qualify, Erwin Dundee for undisclosed reasons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what? Yeah, yeah, Erwin Dundee. Yeah, <laughs> put that one in there. Uh, he's got like seven felonies? times attempted murder of a government employee. Oh, you know, yeah, you know, that's he could not be to say this. I wanna. Okay. What about Leonardo oh. Slags? I wanna go what? ahead. I wanna recommend him, Leonardo. Sl uh, Leo you know Slags. What? Does he know he's going on the list, Bobby? So I'm gonna message him right no, now. No, 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 no. It's it's gonna be a surprise. You know, I think that he oh, needs to perfect. change a career. Guess we'll go ahead and hire your first batch of uh, people that you approved, which would be Gary, Scotty, Winslow, Vil, Adger, Chestanisberg, you know the Dutch guy, and then Richard White Q, White Key or whatever. Operation right. Sewer Cleanup. Yeah, I, uh, I'm still trying to iron out the details of it. You know, uh, you know, I've been... basically. Uh, anyone in the city can pick up these bags now. So yeah, it, 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 yeah, it, 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 could, it could be a citywide initiative to get everyone down there and be like, hey, grab a bag and then drop it on the surface. So do we just deem it for like one specific, you know, time period? Like, hey, right now is the only time that you can go down there without getting hit with felony trespassing. Is it is it illegal right now? Do we actually we technically it? deem it? Yes. Yes. Technically, yet. Yeah. Question. Are we able to do anything about the situations with the food stalls? Oh, uh, what do you mean situation? Are you talking about like there's like problems with them? Uh, no, no, not like not like the the issues with, uh, but more like um how they are rented. Uh, right now, somebody can literally camp out in the admin office, wake up, rent one for two weeks then all of them are gone in one storm and anybody else in another storm has no chance of ever getting it. And can we limit the amount of stalls that people can rent? Because people are renting people are not one, renting two, multiple. three. As uh, a I rumor was... and not true. So Alexander River doesn't have two stalls? I have checked the records and every time this has been brought to me, it has not been true. I will check again. Okay. No, no. I mean, if you've already checked, then yeah. Th this is just what was uh, what was relayed to me as, uh, so I wanted to bring it forward. What up, Big M? So I was thinking. Yep. What if you went down to seventy five percent, but you bumped pay? So there was a risk versus reward trade off, and then I can spin it. Uh, I'm gonna tell you right now. Mm hmm. Um, both Group Six and Grime are gonna get max pay soon, probably after okay. this meeting. So, well, yeah. Also, I'm not push that I'm, with it. Well, if you do, I can probably spin it if you're gonna bump pay. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you do both uh, at the same time, then I can at least spin it. That, um, although this is happening, we're also getting more pay. So just do your job legally, and you'll get more money anyways. All right. Well, then I might I might wait because I don't I don't want to present this. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> You know, what I'm, you. you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, I, I mean, I think that if you bump pay it, uh, doing a run at 75%, if you're getting paid what you were getting paid before or close to it, then there's not much you can bitch about, right? Right. If anything, it's shorter jobs for you and you're not doing illegal shit. Yeah, we have something we're going to present now. The, the motherfucking grime workers that are dropping their trailers off on the shoulder of Polito and other places so yes. that they can yeah, speed that's back to the city. God, thank you. Know, I could know, not know, believe that so shit. You, you, uh, there's a scenario in my head where I could find someone who drives perfectly fine, but just is an asshole who dumps the trail wherever they want when they're done with it. Have these only been found on the side of the road? Have any of these made their way into no. the road? Uh, I mean, now, if you, if you told me that someone detached the trailer while moving and just let it fucking... Uh, 
you know, fall or whatever, then I could see that as a movie violation. I'd say that's covered under the unsafe, you know, enhancement, right? Right. Okay. And maybe gotcha. even reckless you know, driving or something at that point. Uh, but I think just if we just found a trailer on the side of the road and you saw someone ditch it, I didn't and know they pulled it's back on the road, road and they drove away in the speed limit and in the right lane. Uh, I don't think they should get points otherwise. They okay. They dumped them because that means they can make it down to the city quicker. So obviously they're not, not keeping the speed limit. That is the primary reason for them to doing it mm -hmm. in the first place. I mean, also, yes, yeah, Nakota, to answer your question, they have been nudged into the road and have caused chaos, usually up north. Yes. How, yeah. how much do they? How much do they make for transporting that load? It depends on how long they go. Do they want to be legal or do they want to be? Okay. Uh, no. 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 I'm asking. Uh, Normal versus the without the thing, right? It's it's a min max thing. It's about no, I'm, well, the that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna yeah. break it down. So <laughs> if we wait, know. let me call Marlo. So he said they make six k run. The runs are between forty five minutes to an hour. He said ditching the trailer maybe saves you a minute on the drive back. Uh, it seems like this is more of just like a people being people thing. Okay. Don't really know how to regulate it other than just trying to get the police to do the. What they already do, which is the the unsafe operation of like large commercial vehicles, but it doesn't sound like they save much time. I was thinking we could like set the fine to be proportional enough so that it's not worth the time you save, but you don't save enough time for it to be relevant. So sounds like people are just doing it to do it. Thinking like if this happens X amount of times a day, is that going to be overflowing with vehicles close to gas pumps at a certain That's why point? I said they could use the chicken factory parking lot. Okay, yeah. that thing's gigantic. My wife and I did a ride along. Yeah, for grime, mm -hmm. and we we discovered essentially that it is possible for these big semi drivers to do a bunch of different contracts and not technically be in breach of any one of the cargo manifests that they're issued, so yeah. long as they're so long as they are careful about what sort of cargo they're picking up. For example, they don't take two electronics contracts, therefore they won't ever be in the uh, in breach of the one hundred one thousand kg uh, weight limit. Uh, and the way that I advise cops to be able to enforce it when I when I talked about it <clears throat> was, hey, you know, if you spot check these these cargo holds and there's one thousand if there's more than one thousand kilograms of one type of cargo, then they are in breach of this particular law. You are well within your right as chief justice to be like, hey, OK, fuck this weird cargo manifest shit. You know, if, if this truck has more than 80 percent of uh it's maximum weight then it's too unsafe to drive on the road yeah i think that's probably easier to enforce because i i think i agree with you that that law has never been really functional uh it technically is functional it's just right it's just it nonsensically functional yeah uh, yeah yep. it's like math functional not logic okay so we decided that uh illegal dumping equals uh unsafe operation of a wide load the chief of staff yeah updated the death penalty legislation Part 17, whatever it is that we've been working on it for. Based on like some feedback, Michael and I were talking about this and we had concerns about it being in Bolingbroke prior with like doctors, but it came to my attention recently that Tanner is already operating as like a DOC doctor for them. So there are already doctors that are entering. Uh, he's not a, uh, he's not a doctor. Right, he's a psych, actually confirm technically, that. Right? Yeah, no. He's yeah. like just a psych or whatever. Yeah, he yeah. can do that. Um, <laughs> there was somebody else, I cannot remember, Amori. As far as I know, and Kanner can back me up on this if I'm correct, yep. uh, it is a hard and fast rule and will be so the doctors cannot operate outside the prison. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Inside the prison? Sorry, you mean? No, no, cannot operate out. <laughs> that's actually outside a funny, that's a funny Freudian slip. Cannot it be operated <laughs> outside the hospital. They cannot operate outside of their prison. How about that? Yeah, pretty go. much. All right. Yeah. Uh, Didn't we, we, I feel like we had this exact conversation. Uh, yeah. Why don't we just sell pay-per-view tickets somewhere else? I'm all for it. I think uh, I think if people are being put to death, uh, they deserve a level of, I guess. Yeah, I mean we already have fanaticism. Fuck it. Is, is is death penalty already established? Yeah. yeah. I mean it's already a potential That's punishment. Yeah. Yeah, we have it. Yeah. Where, but the method where, hasn't been. It's not codified yet. That's what I meant. Yeah. Technically, we have it. It just it has not been exercised, and thus the actual parameters have not been developed. Okay. So uh, that would be a good thing to codify would be the methods by which people are executed uh, and is, or which crimes qualify. But I think that's already laid out. I think the, the yeah, I think the capital level crimes is already. So no it's just codifying it. it. We just yeah, added just an option it. of burn. Yeah, the stake, we just added but... the burning at the stake. 
that's how shutters that, and pagan <laughs> so that that's what i was talking about with my wife last night i was like listen ma'am this is potential like the implication of that's potentially really bad but discretionary it, choice of the death yeah. row inmate yeah yeah even if the pyre the is simply a puddle of gasoline the person stands mm -hmm. and we ignite it you know i yeah. still need to yeah we need to figure that out coffin and uh, shackle their ankles and yeah yes. well, that's kind of fucked but it, yeah oh the anti-mime legislation yeah anti-mime see there you go i knew there was something that you had i come before you today not as a man not as a mayor but a concerned citizen recently some of you may have realized that a particular plague has taken to our streets are any of you familiar with the clown war oh god yes they yep. keep fucking battling it out at the hospital yeah it's clear that these two factions have begun allowing their previous conflict to spill over into the streets into sacred places like the uh crusade medical hospital disrupting medical care for others i've seen these motherfuckers towing helicopters uh -huh. uh, and in fact <laughs> someone left a dead mime with his entrails cut out at the top of city hall Holy or at the top shit. of the stairs in city hall very grim that's metal i think it's important that we as council members remember we possess the power to legislate and in the past there have been instances of the thing that i'm about to propose in order to curtail certain behaviors on the street some of you may recall that alan crane mentioned in fact that he had a particular arc in which he uh, is a vampire hunter it's not a brave what are we, what suggestion does he want us to do indeed some might call it a safe suggestion however what i propose today is not too radical nay in fact, I think it's the next logical step to ensure that the streets can finally know this peace. This is dramatic. I love it. I wish to legislate that every single mime that enters into Los Santos not be treated as human and not have rights. That is not where I thought that was Damn. going. Wow. Okay. Uh, I thought well. you were proposing clown hunting season. Nope. Oh my. Wait, what if we do alternate seasons? What if there's six months of the oh. year where you can buy a license to hunt clowns and you can bag one clown like per week maybe? And then the other six months of the year, you get a license to hunt mimes and you can do the same. And you pay like a premium. How about this? We, we see where the clown like population is at after this first phase however i know i know for a fact there's like literally just like three mimes causing all of this shit one could argue that the sentience of a mime is in question because what makes us sentient our ability to communicate and if they're communicating like animals hold on should they be treated as humans well there's wait you know what on. never mind i'm gonna go uh, I'm, let's roll going. with it let's roll it's with okay. it yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, i'm gonna terry shivo eat way. your fucking heart out yeah okay. oh, are we boy. saying that people who are deaf and communicate with sign language are not human oh boy no, just mimes. Malcolm. Just mimes. <laughs> All in wait. favor of removing... Wait, wait, sorry, go on. I, I, I just have a couple questions. Did we say that the only person who showed up dead is a mime, though? Yeah, well, you know, who knows what that mime did to antagonize them. Important note, there's a difference between playing charades and using an entirely different sign language to communicate. Mimes do not use sign language. They simply do shit like this. Fucking... Motherfucking... You know what I'm saying? Anyway. What does that one uh, mean? Uh, it means they're happy. Okay. So, oh, okay. Uh, so I bring this to you, Council of Eight. Let's bring peace back to D Streets, yo. You know, uh, <laughs> it's not a new concept, honestly. It's not. We did have peace that Peace by back genocide in the day. has been tried many okay. times in many places. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, not that <laughs> part. Yeah. Well, no. We I mean, legit, there is a legitimate argument. I mean, hey, uh, you know, because it's the age old question, right? It's like, Let's say you've had a country where there's two factions that have been oh warring back God. and forth. Oh and, my God. You know, uh, one faction, you know, has control at this time, but then another like faction at another my... time, right? And it flips every like couple years. Well, if you just pick a time to go in as a peacekeeping force and enforce the law of one faction, then you're you're just kind of choosing an arbitrary point in the sand of which to justify Israel? their authority, right? Israel? I mean, it's kind of the same thing here, right? So yeah, state sponsor genocide. I'm down. I abstain. I'm scared. Okay, any any nays or abstainers? I, I would like I, the, the clowns to be lumped in with. I would like both of them to have no rights. Personally. Oh my god! Oh my god! No! I, I oh, 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 Jesus Christ! As mayor, I am I am uh, I am bringing this to the table in order to represent. Uh, they actually represent a large uh, portion of Los yes, Santos. Yes, they mm -hmm. do. They do, yeah. So I think what we fun. what we can do, you know, if we help them get rid of their mortal enemy, right? We see where they go. And if they if they end up being a larger menace than they were before, I am one hundred percent down to uh, you know, maybe even the playing field in the Why future. don't we make it a twofer? 
mimes are hereby you know second class citizens whatever right we agree with that mm -hmm. but uh clowns who are in debt and oh. get arrested must convert all their fine into extra time oh my god let's fo let's, fo let's, fo let's focus on the mimes let's focus on the mimes come on who is in fake <laughs> raise your hand i i have one more question okay. Hmm. What is the definition of a mime? Uh, someone who wears. Okay. Uh, 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 because oh. I could see a lot of people uh, walking up to someone and shooting them and saying, "Oh, uh, you know," they wave their hands in front of my face. Yeah, that, that was my concern with the like uh, the Dan kill on site stuff and things. It's like what you know, you're opening up the field to. They could just say, "I thought it was a Dan." Okay, I so, thought it was so a mime. here's what I wrote. A mime is someone who gesticulates and does not communicate verbally. Furthermore, they are dressed like a traditional mime. It's pretty obviously a mime when you look at them. Right? Or the gray gotcha. man. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll defer to the rest of you. Uh, as a doctor, I just don't feel like I should be voting on this. Okay. I still well, you're, you're, would. You're, you're, I'm you're, just, oh, uh, you're, you're, a, yeah. you're a treasurer, not a doctor in this room. Well, oh, first yes, but oh, yeah, where where is where is the benefit to the economy? Um, I think Hmm. You sell That's my money like this. I'll tell you exactly how this Mime works. Mime hunting season. Yeah. Mime hunting season. Basically, every time <laughs> every time someone is incarcerated in Bolingbrook, mm -hmm. it costs the state money. Do you guys know that? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if they're dead, they don't cost the state money because they won't be in prison Ooh. for doing all the crazy shit they've been doing. Ooh. Any nays? Uh, I'm a half a be a nay. Why? Tell us why, Nakoda. Uh, because I'm picturing a scenario <clears throat> where someone is abducted at gunpoint, and then they are taken mm -hmm. to a clothing store. Bro, what if, okay, for a moment, someone kidnapped me, and they were like, hey, I'm gonna take you to the gun store, and I'm gonna put this gun on you after I shoot a guy, and then I'm gonna shoot you, and then I'm gonna leave you in an alleyway somewhere. And then what if the guy also had, like, a nuclear uh, detonation key activation? What if, what if someone kidnapped me and then made me, oh, Where fuck. That's human trafficking, Max. That's just human trafficking. No, human trafficking. No, We're both I mean, of this, what it's human trafficking. This, this, this what if kidnapping argument is so fucking lame, dude. Wait, I'm are sorry. We why do we, why do we but account for the worst? It does I... not happen. It does not happen, motherfucker. Wait, Nakoda, hold on. what you suggest, what, what, Nakoda, the, like the, the situation that you articulated in Mo is human trafficking. I, uh, I would Keep say single. if someone is uh, going to dedicate their life to being a mime, that should be very noted in their public profile. Very noted. Sure. Make them register. <laughs> Oh, oh my god. god. I I'm abstaining. I'm abstaining. I'm and abstaining. the shark I'm has abstaining. been jumped, I'm ladies abstaining. and gentlemen. I think they should have to register, and I think they should be allowed to be shot on the street for being mimes. There's no, ooh. there's no, oh, 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 this is, this is weird. But that's literally what I'm saying. Any nayers? I I'm still going to be a nay. Malton. Same. Cantor. I have same. Alan Crane. If we're, if we're good at defining what a mime is and someone who is a mime knows they're a mime and there's no way to you know muddy the water then yeah i don't care i don't, I don't like yeah, mimes. We can make, let's make a registry michael go for it siobhan yay all right tied up is. so the mayor's vote carried and now mimes aren't people oh, hooray okay. as you may uh, have seen the state announcement mimes are no longer people Woo! yeah what does that mean exactly it means they have no rights well, if I leave here and there's a mime in here and I stab in the throat and it dies, I'm okay. Correct. All mimes must be are forced to identify themselves. And oh, I've informed. Yeah. I've, I've informed. <laughs> oh, I've, yeah. inf <laughs> I've informed the police. That's right. <laughs> that they are yes. to make the mimes sign up. Yes. If they are seen on the street. Wait, 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 what do they have to do? Hey, uh, <laughs> if they don't get uh, rights, it don't really matter, though, what, right? What, what, what exactly are you um, signing up for? Mayor I'm a little lost here. I, I well, they're, like registra they're, they're, they're registering the as mimes. So. Oh, God, what? <laughs> so, what happens if they don't register? <laughs> what happens? They'll be forced to register. Well, yes. I can, uh, oh, my I have a question for you, Mayor Max. Fuck? What up, Kirk? Okay, so here's, here's what I'll tell you. If, yeah. if you can promise that. You're gonna go through this with the mimes, right? Cause yeah, if it's open season, man, I'm gonna 
you know, I don't even think I'll have to like go after gang members anymore because I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a free Sheila killer and not have any problems because I'm gonna start murdering these mother yuggas. If, right? if it was uh, open but, season, you'd never be cool enough to be like bug. You'd definitely be the Elliot of the, the of the group. I'm just yeah, saying. I'll, I'll, hey, take Kirk, I'll take what I can get. But and if you can I'll also take promise can no get. debtors' law, you got my vote, 100. percent Just to be clear, um, you know what's at stake if this is all a lie, right? You remember that mime? Today. Yes, uh, you folks. don't have to threaten me, bro. I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm, I, just look, saying. I'm on your side. I'm not, thre- I'm not threatening you. Stop no. though. If he was here right now, he'd be foaming from the mouth. Uh, look, you guys are free to do whatever the fuck you want. Let's do it, guys. Oh, we can do whatever we want. Okay. All to right. To mines. AMA. I love it. Yep. Um, I don't have anything else to present, so I think we're. Wait, done. what? Question mark. I just have a general question. So I, I see in here like this sheriff selection thing. Is this just part of the police continuity plan, or is this uh, is this like yeah. a Fed thing? Okay. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit of both. Gathering our thoughts on that. Yeah, your thoughts. Many cops have spoken to me, and they want this. This is how they envision an election for sheriff. Okay, and I don't necessarily disagree with that. Run concurrent with actual like elections for like the city council and stuff and mayor. It basically it would happen at the same time as all other elections, and then you know it would have to be a current cop, and then you know, any public person could vote for that because that's typically how sheriffs are elected everywhere else. Uh, and yeah. I, I think it's a cool, I think it's a cool idea personally. Oh, I like it. There, yeah. there are there are a couple of things that need to be done before we start this process though mainly uh there's no functional police department in the county for them right right signups start for this uh in three days so maybe it should not run at the same cycle as the city council we could have them start and like start getting like their organization set up we could have them start and like start getting like their organization set up and all that stuff so and there's another problem too okay this will be a need to be on its own cycle. Let's just put it that way, because it's it's probably not ready for the next three days. Uh, because if we, and maybe Max and I can talk about this later, but basically I'm just thinking through, mm-hmm. I don't want to put pressure on mm-hmm. the construction crews being like, hey, we elected a sheriff. And then the sheriff's going to like go to Max and be like, where's my building? Right. Uh, I think we should probably be more uh, responsible and say, okay, we will... Uh, get word you know to the construction folks that we intend to hire a sheriff get a reasonable expected date of when the building could be ready and then center the elections around that time frame i think that's probably Um, more responsible yeah so and alternatively what we could do is we could say hey uh you're gonna be sheriff of the county sheriff's office whatever it's gonna be called whoever gets elected and we're gonna be like hey you can do this and this can happen but you need to understand that you might be operating out of mrpd for the next foreseeable future you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And also, there, there is a uh, slight chain of command issue that needs to be cleared up. You know, like, who does the sheriff yeah, answer to? Exactly. That's another. Exactly. That's <clears throat> another issue. So we, we got to work out all of this shit before we uh, begin doing sheriff stuff, which I, it's possible we get it done in three days, but uh, we'll see. Highly doubtful. Yeah. Uh, I will be working on that because uh, I, I want to talk to Barrick and I want to talk to Ruby and I want to talk uh, to the state. And then we got to figure out, you know, like who who's going to be doing what, like, you know, like. Are, are the sheriff's underlings going to answer to LSPD high command? You know, like, like there are a lot of questions that need to be answered first. Right. Yeah. Uh, okay. So yeah, some hybrid of what we just discussed is probably fair. Uh, we could, you know, how about we do this? How about we take what you're saying where you do all the groundwork, right? Uh, and we officially tell the PD that a sheriff is coming. And thus we are trying to figure out all the parameters for the job first uh, and then use that as a way to buy time for the construction. Uh, sounds good. Okay. Uh, I like that plan. So I, uh, will... I want to talk about the Council of Eight. Yeah. Uh-huh. Do you do you think we're being effective? Genuine question. <clears throat> like, is, is this what you envisioned would be the case? My goal is probably different than what most people would look at this endeavor and think. My particular goal in creating a governmental body was to formalize the dispersion of authority. Given that I have voted against you on some things and with you on some things, and I could say that for every person in that room, then I I think that that has certainly succeeded. Why don't you guys go steal a helicopter and then chase them? Or why don't you just shoot them after you warn them to land? 
Uh, yeah, that seems fair. We have, can't you do we, that if you can't pursue it? We have shot at it. 